Whichever happens first is when I will end my day. So that DoorDash order had a better hidden tip than I thought it would. I'd say I get tip baited a couple times a week at least. <laughs> Hey guys, hope your day's going well. My name's B. Welcome to Geek Money Madness. If you like this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on the notifications so you know when my next video comes out. Well, it's a rainy day here in the Kansas City area. Uh, I'm going to stay out for four hours or until I hit $100. Whichever happens first is when I will end my so day. It's about 11.15 right now, so we'll see if I have hit my goal of $100 by 3.15, or if I just get what I get at the end of the four hours. My first order's on DoorDash. My iPhone said it was 12.4 miles, but my Android said 7.4. So my Android is usually correct, so I'm going with that one. It's picking up Kalachi Factory. It's a catering order for $19.75. So the last time I came here, earlier this week, they had the order ready and waiting for me. Scott Price, the DoorDash order. Both of those? Pretty, Pretty heavy. heavy. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right guys, I have that uh, order on board and it was only 5.4 miles to the drop off and 12 minutes. So I think there's gonna be a hidden tip on this. So I'm kind of anxious to get it dropped off and see what I get. So this is a kind of a cool little place that I delivered to. It's called Silo Modern Farmhouse. I've been by this so many times and never even noticed it before. <laughs> it's kind of funny. My next door is on DoorDash. Picking up from Panera. It's going 2.9 miles for $6.75. So it does show there's seven items on it. One of the items is utensils, so it could go up a little bit. One's a drink. I think if there's a hidden tip, it's probably only gonna be like a dollar, but it may surprise me, you know, since Panera is a little bit more expensive. So the one thing I don't like about this Panera is sometimes I end up having to wait. All right, that Panera did good this time. So I was able to pick it up quickly and be on my way. Uh, looks like I am 1.3 miles from the customer and it's gonna take me about three minutes to get there. And then once I get that dropped off, I already have my next order and it's on Grubhub. Picking up at Chipotle. It's for $8.01, only going 1.5 miles. So that's a really good order and most Chipotles are quick so I shouldn't have a wait on that so it should be a pretty quick order so let me go get this one dropped off and then we'll head to Chipotle DoorDash order had a better hidden tip than I thought it would. It actually went up from $6.75 to $10.28. So, all right, so I'm headed to pick up that Chipotle now. And actually, Grubhub uh, sent me an add on for $5.40 going 1.9 miles. So, I thought, what the hey, you know, I'm already there at Chipotle. I'll go ahead and grab it. I'm trying to uh, make as much money as I can in the four hours I'm out here. So, that's why I took it. And I'm 1.4 miles from Chipotle and only going to take me about four minutes to get there. So let's go get these on board. All right, I have both of those orders on board and it's like 0.9 miles to the first drop off and only like five minutes. So let's go get this customer their food.
How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are good. You? All right. There you are. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. All right, the customer met me in the lobby, so it made it very easy to drop that order off. I'm now headed to the second customer, and they're 1.6 miles away. Should take me about five minutes to get over there. For Lily? What? I have a delivery for Lily. Okay, you should grab the oh, Thank you. My next order is on Spark. It's for $21.34. I'll get $10.34 of that today. And then there's an $11 tip on it that I should get tomorrow. There's two orders and the distance on it is 5.8 miles. So I'm on my way there to pick it up right now. It's 12.36 and the pickup time for it is 12.45. And I'm 3.8 miles away and nine minutes. So I should be there pretty close to on time. Shouldn't miss it by too much. So let's go get these on board. All right guys, I'm in my parking spot waiting on those two orders. And I was only a minute late to the pickup. It looks like one has 19 items and the other one has seven items so shouldn't be too difficult looks like both are apartments though so we'll see all right so i have both of those orders on board i sent my message to the first customer to let them know i'm on my way with their order and they are 1.3 miles away it's going to take me like four minutes so pretty close so let's go get this one off All right, the next spark drop off is about 4.4 miles away and gonna take me about seven minutes to get it off. I'm just kind of waiting on my next order right now. So as soon as I get one, I will let you know. Actually, one just popped up on Spark for $27.09 for 5.3 miles. It's two orders. The first one has 20 items. The second one has 14 items. Pickup time is 1.45. So I'll get $10.09 of that today and then there's a $17 tip on it. So hopefully that'll all come through tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and head that direction right now. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes to get up there. And if I get anything between now and then, I'll let you know. So I'm just curious what you guys do. So let's say you're trying to hit $100 a day and you're using Spark to help you hit that goal. Do you count the tips that you know you're not gonna get today do you count them for that day or do you count them for the next day? So I can tell you what I do. I don't count them until I actually receive them, which means I don't count them until the following day. Because there are times that I do get tip baited. And I'd say I get tip baited a couple times a week at least. So I think last week I got tip baited a couple times and lost like $18. I just don't want to be getting to the end of my day and thinking I've made a hundred dollars when in reality if a tip doesn't come through I only made 90 for the day because that can add up you know so I don't know I'm just curious what you guys do how you guys count that towards your totals for the day let me know in the comments below I'm curious to know
All right, guys, I finally have those two spark orders on board. It took them about 18 minutes to get them out to me. So I already texted the first customer to let them know I was on my way with their order. Uh, looks like I'm 1.7 miles away and it's gonna take me just five minutes. So should be a pretty quick drop off. So let's go get it done. Alright guys, I'm 3.3 miles away from the second drop off and going to take me about 9 minutes to get up there. So let's go get it off. Alright, I got that second uh, spark order dropped off. I didn't record it because they were standing at the door when I pulled up. So I ended up just handing it to them and then taking my picture after they went back in the house. So I'm just kind of waiting on my next order right now. DoorDash ended my dash. I guess I wasn't giving them enough attention. But I was able to get another scheduled shift with them, the one I had previously. So I don't know why they do that. It's just kind of useless if you ask me. At least in my area because you can usually sign right back on. I just took another order on Spark. This is probably going to be my last order. Uh, it's like 222 right now. This is picking up at 245. It's just one order for $19.20 and it's going 5.5 miles for 14 items. So it's going pretty far north, but I'm gonna go home from there. Uh, so it should be just a straight shot across to get home. That was one of the reasons I took it. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the store and just kind of wait it out. I'll be surprised if I get anything from any other app. They're all pretty quiet right now. It only took them about eight minutes to get the uh, spark order out to me, so that's not too bad at all. Uh, I'm on my way to go drop that off right now. Like I said, this is gonna be my last order. I'm 5.5 miles away from the drop off and it's gonna take me about 12 minutes. So let's go get this last order off. Alright guys, it's 3.13. I dropped that last order off, oh, probably seven minutes ago, something like that. I'm on my way home. And uh, the results are in for how much I made today. So I worked almost four hours, just missed it by a few minutes. Uh, and I ended up with $91.95. So it was close. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss when I upload my next video. So stay safe out there, guys, and I will see you in the next video.